Throughout history, healthy food was looked upon as something that benefited the body. Even the famous Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. One quarter of what you eat keeps you alive and three quarters of what you eat keeps your doctor alive. So today's central idea of what we'll be talking about is using a healthy diet to treat illnesses and or benefit and maintain your overall health. Just because an idea is old, such as Hippocrates, quote, doesn't mean it is worth it and vice versa. Holistic views on diet and how it pertains to our overall health is something that we constantly battle. Taking part of a more natural, whole food diet can change many factors such as negative effects your body may be feeling. Even things you never knew that were hurting you, you may find out was a problem once you eliminate certain foods, such as fast foods over processed foods, and take a more natural approach to what you eat on a daily basis. As Diana Cardini quotes from a very valid source, sciencebasedmedicine.org, but her Hippocratic doctors clearly saw a difference between food and medicines. In fact, food was considered as a material that could be assimilated after digestion and converted into a substance of the body. For example, food was converted into the different parts of the body such as muscle, nerves, and etc. And in saying this, when I mean foods, I mean fruits and vegetables, grains, meats, things that will benefit your body, not junk food and overprocessed food, fast food. By contrast, the concept of medicine at the time was a product which was able to change the body's own nature. When we talk about let food be thy medicine and med medicine be thy food, we are talking about food that is whole food, fruits and vegetables, organic, a more plant-based diet, meats, grains, and things that you think would ultimately, overall, benefit yourself. And in doing so, when you make a switch to unprocessed foods, it's gonna lower your cholesterol, lower heart disease, obesity, overall happiness, and you're gonna have more energy. You're gonna see your body change. And I am going to encourage every one of you to test it out and see what you feel. Either if it's losing weight, you have more energy, skin changes, hair changes, you're not going to have a neg negative outcome. It's all surely going to be positive if you do it the correct way. Now I'll be talking about food versus medicine. Many whole foods and natural foods have multiple benefits usually little to no side effects. But with medicine, it may treat the problem better at times, but there's going to probably surely be a long list of bad side effects, which are not good for your body. It's not very natural, and it's not allowing your body to create antibodies at times. So I am still going to encourage you to use food as a medicine Especially at first, if you have a problem that you go to the doctors about, try a natural holistic approach first. Cancer rates going up, heart disease going up, stroke going up. We're poisoning ourselves with highly processed, nutrient depleted foods. In conclusion, how the benefits of taking a more holistic approach to your diet can have an overall benefit to your lifestyle is something you may want to think about. Just as having more energy, and your overall health may benefit greatly. Also, when you choose to take a holistic approach, there's gonna be less plastic, less wasted material. And when I say that, I mean bottles the doctor may give you, prescriptions, anything like that. And that doesn't benefit the earth. So help the earth out, help yourself out. And let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. The solutions are here. They've always been here. Every single person in the world, every culture, every language, every person in the world knows it. You are what you eat.